Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Make a Game. Now, tonight, I'm not actually going to be working in studio, but I am going to be still continuing to work on my game. Tonight, we're going to be playing with Blender, and I'm going to try and attempt to create an axe because I need my own meshes, I need my own tools, I need everything to be my own. I cannot use anything. <sighs> So there will be no questions or doubts of uh, authenticity. So well, let's get started here. This is this is Blender. The way I'm moving around is I'm using the scroll wheel to go up and down, and then I press in on the scroll scroll wheel to kind of pivot around a central point. If you need to slide the image or slide the object, hold Shift, press down on the middle scroll wheel, and you can slide around. But that's not what we're doing right now. We're playing with this cube. So what I'm going to do is I hit tab, all right, I've got the cube selected, I hit tab, and it switches into the mesh mode, all right, this way I can play with the mesh itself. I'm going to hit subdivide, just like that, that way I got all my little cubies, just like that, and then, uh, okay, so your numerical pad is a big key in... <laughs> New numerical keypad. No. Uh, it is key to your different perspectives and what you can turn and view. So this is one. It's the front. This is three. This is the, the right side. L left side. Looking at it from the right. And then seven is from the top. Okay? If you press zero and you have a camera in the scene, it'll go to that camera's perspective. Alright? So let's go back to the first view. Notice how this looks 3D. Right. If you press 5, it goes into what's called ortho mode, which means that anything like this box in the background is the same size as this box in the foreground, but there's no perspective. It, it removes all perspective. It's like taking the field of view and bending it like this so all objects are the same size. So uh, that's also really good for like if you press 1 and you need to select things versus 5, 1. Right. We'll, we'll use it here in a little bit. So, um, unselecting everything and selecting everything inside mesh mode. These are vertices, these are lines, and this little square of the four vertices is a face. So, down here you can select by vertice, you can select by line, or you can select by face. If I use face, and I go to start right clicking on each one of these, I can select just the face. Or if I select the lines, I can select just the lines, or if I do the vertices, I can select the vertices. So I, I hope that gives you a little bit better feel for Blender itself. Uh, by the way, Blender 3D is free. Uh, I recommended it in my book. I recommended it all the time. Um, notice what happened here. So I hit A to unselect or select all. So unselect everything. Press B to do a bordering tool. And I selected these three vertices over here. Now notice that it didn't select anything behind it. A lot of times you're going to need to select a lot of things, or you're going to need to select things through the model to the back side. That's where this little tool comes in, in place. Click it, and now you can see all vertices on all sides, all lines, all faces. So now if I hit A to unselect, B to grab that bordering tool, I can select all those faces, or vertices, sorry. Press X, and this will delete them. Delete vertices, delete edges, delete faces. I want to delete the vertices. Oh no, I have a half a box. That's okay. So hit tab, go back into this mode. Come over here to this little thing right here. It's called a modifier. I'm going to add a modifier called a mirror right here. So then I'm going to select clipping right there. So now when I go back into tab or into uh, edit mode, anything I do to the right side happens to the left side. So this vertice, grab it. Aha, yay. Same thing here. So <clears throat> now to try and create an axe. So um, to do this, I'm going to go to, uh, up to Google we're just going to look up axes, images. So, I, oh, I like that one. That's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Ooh, we could do a pickaxe. 
sometime. Let's go with uh, let's go with this one here. It looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the the axe head first and then try and create the handle. So this should be two different objects. So let's get started with that edge. And we are going to have to move the uh, centerpiece. So <clears throat> the edge is very sharp. So I'm just going to grab this, pull it way out here, grab this. Uh-oh, hold on. Is that? That wasn't on the y-axis. Control-Z. Okay, so whenever you right-click to select a thing, all right, if you want to select multiple, you hold shift and you can select multiple things. And then what you can do with those multiple things, all right, is you can press G to grab it. You can press R to rotate it. You can press S to scale it. Okay. So hit escape to put it back. <clears throat> if you want to rotate only on a certain axis, hit the R key and then whatever axis you want, X, Y, or Z. So if I hit X, it only rotates on X. Y, it only rotates on Y. Z, only rotates on Z. Now here's the cool thing. If you do Z again, the, oh, okay. The first one is the global. The second one is the, all right, so Y, Y, that doesn't really show perspective, or like the, the different one. Let's do X. Hmm. Okay. Grab on X axis. Oh, it's not rotated. <clears throat> okay. Let's just rotate this out of the way. Boink. Like that. So now I should be able to do the same thing. Okay. So if I grab, right? and then I press X, it's only gonna grab on the X axis. But if I hit X again, it does it on its X axis, whatever that happens to be. So that one is global, like the same as the environment that you're in, and the other one is relative. So the X axis relative to the object. This is kind of what I was talking about with the C-frames and stuff, so I figured it kind of goes hand in hand with yesterday's video to today's video. Um, although it's two completely different things. It's still 3D environment. Hold on. Oh, I gotta get out of that mode. Control Z. There we go. Put it back to there. <coughs> Sorry, where was I? Code, you are so distracted, dude. I know. It happens sometimes. So, um, I'm actually going to subsurface this one more time just so we get a better control over everything. And I'm going to scale on the X axis. No, or grab. Here, press one, press five. I want these to kind of be the same size. If I hold shift, I can get a better micro movement. Okay. So let's come out here to the side. Um, let's see if I can get that basic shape right here. So I'm just going to pretend like this box is starting right here at this axis. All right. So let's hit tab. Let's grab all of these. We're going to extract them in this direction. And extract them one more time. These on this side, we're going to extract this way, but then I'm going to scale them on the X axis, no, uh, Z axis, like that. And then I'm going to grab on the Z axis, and move that down just like that. Extrude again, scale Z axis, Grab Z-axis. Okay, that might be a bit much. <laughs> In fact, 
that's that's too much. So Z Z Z Z Z. Okay. So let's uh, scale on the Z axis just slightly. We don't we don't need that craziness. All right, one two. Grab Z axis. One two. Extrude. Right there. Scale, control, one, two. Grab Z, one, two, three. Right there. Extrude, come out, right about there. Scale Z axis. It's about right. Grab Z axis. Extrude. Scale. Oops, hold on. Scale on the Z axis only. Grab the Z axis only. Okay, we are we are off right here. Do you see that? So I'm gonna hold Shift and right click, which should uh, grab that entire line. And I'm going to grab on the Z axis, pull it up so it's about even. Again, same thing over here. Hold Alt, grab Z axis. Uh oh. I didn't grab something. Grab that whole line right there. Grab Z. Hold Shift. There we go. Uh. <laughs> wow. Does not look the same. So let's grab these right here. Bold. I'm just gonna grab those out like this. Grab these right here. Did I miss something down there? I think I did. We're good, we're good. Press seven, grab, start shaping this back here. Actually, we need to, we really need to pull all these in a lot. This should be out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't delete those. Okay, see how this is way out here? Let's grab that, pull it way back up. Same here. It's just gonna be very slow and methodical. Methodical? I don't know if that was the right word. Whenever I get to working in Blender, I find myself getting distracted more by how elegant the program is. There's so much you can do inside Blender. Oh, that's why. There we go. That looks nice. Much nicer. And grab this. Pull it up here. Grab that. I want to kind of make our lines all even. That way our texture looks nice later on. Because we will, we will texture this. The shapes... 
that you can come up with because of Blender are amazing. <clears throat> okay, and by the way, that is not smooth whatsoever. So let's go back to the top. We're just going to start. Grab a Z. Grab. Grab. Grab these two. Pull them back out. Grab. Oops. That's B, not G. Escape. Grab these. Pull them out a little bit. Grab these. Just kind of like that. Does it look too thick? Hold on. Let's change back into perspective mode. It kind of does. It looks, looks like it's too thick. So I'm going to hit A, select all of it. And we're going to scale on the x-axis. Just going to shove that down there like that. There we go. Now I also saw that there's a slight bevel right here, slight bevel in the bottom as well. So I want that same, oops, escape, slight bevel. So actually, let's do this. See this little tool right here, down here? It, it will move the connected things. So if I grab this, and then I increase its diameter like that, and start moving all the things connected to that thing. So, right there, oops, B. I want to do the same thing up here. Oops. Grab right there. Grab right here. That's not what I wanted. Grab right here. Grab right here. Grab right here. right here. It's a little bit better. And this looks too extreme. <laughs> like that's a, that is a big bevel. Let's just do this. We'll thin that way out. Okay, let's grab right here and just go, no, grab, no, yeah, ah. grab, that's not working at all, hold on, can I just grab one of them, and increase the whole thing, it doesn't look right, control Z that, hmm, Trying to look at this wrong. I think, I think these right here. Let's hold Alt. And do the same on that one right here. There we go. Nice handle looking thing. A little bit. So, let's grab these right here. Unselect everything. I'm gonna grab the back of these. And I don't have to grab everything. In fact, uh, I don't like having that tool, so let's just grab that. Right. 
Did that... No, disabled, there we go. Grab on the x-axis. Grab the y-axis. Uh, became uneven, no. It's okay, we'll grab these. Ugh, yes. Ah, stop. There we go. Grab this. There we go. These right here. Grab and kind of pull in there. Good. Nice axe head. There we go. Now, with fear of actually doing this, there's a tool over here called Smooth vertex Vertexes. I'm going to select all. I'm going to hit that one time. Don't like it. Actually, I do like it. I like it a lot. Let's grab that and pull it back out. Grab this, pull it back down. Can we grab that and pull it up some? Grab this, pull it down some. Like that. It's actually pretty good. So, if we hit tab, you can still tell that it's got like little polygons and stuff on it. I'm going to change this to a smooth shading. Smooth. That should make it look better. Now, I've got to make a handle for this. So, uh, let's do this. Let's go back into uh, edit mode. This portion right here, I'm going to, actually, should we do it to both of those? Extrude, and we'll just pull that out a little bit. Hmm. Control Z, that. Um, here, I have an idea. We're going to take these two right here, and we're going to do a subdivide. And then this, 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 this. These are all going to become a circle, technically. So this one, I'm going to grab, pull over here. This one, pull over here. <clears throat> I kind of want them to be as evenly rounded on both sides. Pull that one. It's just going to be a lot of little work to try and get this to look right. But now, I should be able to grab all of these, and we're going to extrude this. Uh-oh. See how that one's not even? Let's go back to the side perspective, back into ortho mode. Grab want them to be the same size, same height, all around. There we go. Go back to the top mode. And grab this right there. Try and make the lines even. as much as possible. Oops, 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 oops. Hold shift. How long have I been recording? 24 minutes. Gosh, code, you didn't even extract it yet. Okay, so we've got all of those vertices. And they are all pretty much even. Okay, there's... There we go. Okay. Whew. Now, extrude. Now we're going to extrude again. Make this slightly smaller. I'm just going to hit scale. Grab Z. Pull that down. Just like that. And I don't like how that turned out. Because it's not quite... 
point I thought was going to be. These should probably scale. There we go. Looks a little bit better. No, 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 no. Uh, control Z scale on the Y axis only. There we go. And all of these want to kind of rotate on the Z axis. Grab those, pull them over. This, this, this. Rotate on the Z axis. that now that is that is nowhere to scale of what it should be so let's go ahead and grab um, yeah, let's grab all of that and we're just going to scale it up grab Z axis does it look too far back Yeah, it could be. Scale on the Y axis. Scale on the Z axis. Grab Z. Pull it down. You know what? Let's leave it for the moment. And let's start working on this bottom part. This one. Oh, 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 oh. Control Z. Unselect. This, 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 and this. We want to do a subdivide, all right? And this is where the handle is going to be coming out. We're gonna scale this up a little bit. All right, that'll be good. Here we go, extrude, oh, uh, extrude. We did not get that even handle like we wanted. Control Z that. I want to do the same thing that we did at the top, but I gotta make sure that they're on the same level. Okay. So if you hold shift and press seven, you can see the bottom or the opposite side of whichever perspective you're supposed to be on. So, I'm going to grab that among the Y axis. Grab this one. Oops, grab, what? Stop, Control Z. Always remember Control Z. Grab, 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 grab. <clears throat> Okay, so let's now grab these. I hope I'm grabbing the right vertices here. Nothing behind it. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, go back to the right perspective. Slide down, Ex whoops, extrude E. And, no, I don't want to subdivide. Extrude again, extrude. Extrude. That does not look perspective. <laughs> oh gosh. Control Z. Z, 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 Z. We're just going to undo all of that. That's as far back as I can go. Can we just, uh, Extrude this whole portion. Let's take let's take this whole thing out. Let's do that. Hmm. That actually doesn't look too bad. So control Z. Let's make this handle. Grab. Grab. Let's 
I'm using a lot of grab and um, axes. Grab X or Y. Okay. Now we're going to take and extract all of these straight down. Yeah. Keep hitting the wrong button. Extrude. Extrude. I'm going to kind of rotate this just slightly. Extrude. Extrude here. Rotate again. Extrude. Rotate slightly. Extrude. Rotate slightly. Extrude. Oops. Extrude. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Grab. Uh, okay, we did something wrong. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. There we go. Control Z. Extrude. And. Wait, wait, what, what, what? Escape. Extrude, rotate. No, I don't want to extrude again. Control Z. Rotate. Now you may be thinking, code, what did you do? It doesn't even look perspective-y. That's okay. I'm going to hit B right here. And we're going to scale on the Z-axis. You're like, wait, code, what? Grab on that Z-axis. And we're just going to scale it down. Whoa, code, what did you do? Uh-oh. Something happened down there. Okay. Control Z, 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 Z. That actually happened while we were extruding downward, didn't it? Oh, gosh. Control Z. Okay. Let's mess with only this portion right here. Ortho mode. Extrude. Extrude. Rotate, extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate. Extrude, rotate. Oh gosh. Control Z. Escape. Control Z. 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 There we go. Extrude, rotate, extrude, rotate. Why is it only focusing on stop? It got flat again. <laughs> Control Z. It's like it's got a slight bevel or a turn to it. Can we go this perspective? Let's go, let's go from the front. Extrude. Oh, it's because the ang it's literally it's angling down. So uh, rotate this way. There we go. Okay. Extrude. Turn to the side. Extrude. Rotate this direction slightly. Oh, 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 I missed a collar right there. So let's just hit B, grab that, pull it down like that. Grab this, extrude. Rotate, extrude on the Z. Rotate, extrude on the Z. I 
probably you know what <laughs> there we go we need to scale on the Z axis as much as possible to get that flat <laughs> I think that was the, one of the main problems. There we go. So, scale Z, there we go. So, here we go, extrude, extrude, oops, uh, control Z, extrude, 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 extrude. Uh, and extrude and extrude so let's uh let's jump out here i'm gonna grab this we're just going to rotate pull that way down here be like code what are you doing trust me it'll work be grab way down Okay, so we're gonna grab all of these. Actually, um, can I hold Alt? Uh oh, what did I do there? Oops. Escape A, B. Okay, you guys were right. It, it's a it's a little off. Oops, uh, I don't want to scale the whole thing, I just want to scale... Actually, it's fine. Oops, 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 oops. Grabbed an extra piece there. horrible <laughs> oh this should have been so much bigger the handle uh, scale grab Z scale Y <laughs> scale Z there's no way to fix that is there <laughs> hold on can we do this Yeah, there's no fixing that. Scale that down. Scale this down. Scale this down. Scale. Scale. Uh oh. I think we might be scaling too much. Or not enough. Who knows at this point? Hey, that actually looks uh, looks a little bit better. The axe head looks way out of proportion. Tell you what, let's grab this. Let's hit the connected. We're just going to grab. We're going to 
Pull that up some. Same thing right here. Grab, run, rotate. Oh gosh. And oh no, that's that's horrible. <laughs> Actually, that's not too bad. Why is it doing that weird squishy thing? I don't want to do that. Hmm. Alright, stop, stop. Let's grab this right here. I'm just going to scale this down on the x-axis. Can we just smooth vertices? There we go. Let me just grab these vertices back out. Uh, we don't want them connected though. Looks kind of like a hammer again. <laughs> I don't want a hammer, I want an axe. Please. I can grab that. Grab this. We need to make this more of an edge. That looks good. Smooth. Okay. I need to move this up. We're going to scale in. Scale on the X axis only. Grab on the X axis only. Nope. Don't like it. Nope, nope, nope. How far back can we go? Hopefully, I can undo that smoothness. Let's just do it once. That looked a little bit better. Although this handle part right here kind of looks off slightly. Can we scale this up just a slight amount? Rotate that back. We'll rotate this forward. Hmm. Well, considering we're 43 minutes in, there's only one way to make this kind of look real. And that's to throw it into the game. Now I don't have any texturing or anything to this yet, so please don't judge me. Does it look anything like our axe? Nothing like our axe, does it? In fact, this I just got the little nub. <laughs> that's okay. Alright, let's do file save. I'm just gonna call this my Axe blend. Uh, first axe. First axe. Get it? First. Never mind. Bad. Bad joke. Bad joke. So, <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and file export as a .obj or a wave front. Uh, and let's see. It's going to be Blender Files. I want Roblox. Where's Documents Roblox? <laughs> there we go. That's a good spot. Export. <clears throat> Alright. So let's go ahead and 
file. Uh, where is it? Import. I want to import object. Oh wait, do I have to do a mesh? Uh, mesh, right there. Right click, add asset. And it's under documents, Roblox, first axe. Uh, yes, go ahead and rescale if it's too large. Reverse the inward pointing mesh normals. Uh, and import file as a single mesh. Uh, let's just do that. Apply. So I should now have first object. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let's uh, create a part here. Hold on. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, model. Sorry, it's getting late. And I want to right click, add, oh no, can I just uh, click that? Mesh, block mesh. And the mesh ID, name, offset, parent, vertex, colors, wait, what? Hmm. Where's my meshes? I've got a bunch of cool meshes, by the way. Oh wait, that's not my inventory. My meshes. Meshes first act. Classic sword. Hmm. Let's delete that part right there. Okay. Where did the first axe go? There it is. Meshes slash first axe. Now, if I just leave that there. Oh, that is way too large. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that does not work. I thought I thought that the that it would look better. It does not look good. Let's grab up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. See. Grab these. We're going to scale on the Z axis big time. Grab this. Grab the. There we go. That should be a little bit better. If I uh, grab these tops, scale on the Z axis, rotate. Okay, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it right there. And let's uh let's go grab. Let's let's try that. It still looks humongous in comparison to the handle.
Okay, that looks a little bit better. Let's extract that. File, save, file, export to the wavefront. First X. That should have worked. So let's uh, delete that. <clears throat> file, import. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have to go back over here. Import object first X. Okay. Uh, apply all. Asset has already renamed itself, has been renamed to something else. So. Mm, let's do my meshes again. What did it get renamed to? There we go. There we go. Scale that down a little bit. We, again, I haven't textured it or anything, so we're at 52 minutes. Oh my gosh. I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Let's turn the... There we go. Hold on. That looks much better. Still might be slightly big, but that will work. Now let's uh, let's grab that classic sword. Let's grab this classic sword here. Uh, classic sword. My son wanted a classic sword in the game, so let's just duplicate this. Pull this over here. Doop, 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 doop. So if I take this, oops, 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 this here, we're just going to call this X mesh. Cut classic sword. If we look inside here, there's a handle that has the mesh on it. So we're going to do paste into. And then move this right here. I'm not sure that this is going to work quite the way that I'm expecting. I'm going to rotate this around like that. Because the classic sword already has everything that we need in it. Okay, it's still really big. Um, scale. Don't want to make it too off putting. Maybe right here. Can we turn off the move by? Turn the music back on. <laughs> So now I should be able to delete this, maybe. No, it did not work. Hmm. Let's hit F5, see what this looks like. Yeah, it's not attached, because it's not, but I mean, it's inside the, what? <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to get the mesh itself. There we go. Mesh ID. Copy. Delete this. Delete this. Get that out of here. This over here. Mesh ID. Paste. There it goes. Now it's not facing the right direction at all. <laughs> and in fact, oh gosh. Scale offset. Hold on. So control Z. Can can I duplicate this? Duplicate. Mesh ID. Paste. So it only takes one or the other. Okay. <clears throat> offset, vertex colors. Scale 0. 0.5. Comma 0. 0.5, comma 0. 0.5. 
So, it's going to look funny, but that's okay. Uh, handle's not an actual object, is it? That's okay. <laughs> We're going to walk over there and pick it up. It's going to be all funny looking. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, goodness. Okay, a little bit of rotating and it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be great. But, I mean, for now, <laughs> thank you everyone for watching this episode of Let's Make a Game. Um, playing with meshes inside Blender. It's fun. It's, and we'll, we'll texture it and we'll add more stuff and we will make more axes. But I really wanted to play with Blender tonight and I did. So, thank you everyone for watching. Love you very much. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button down below. Do all the things that you're supposed to do whenever a YouTuber it gets to the end of the video and is like calling out things. Or whenever the YouTuber at the very beginning of the video is like billion like goal or whatever it is. Um, 20, 25,000. 25,000 likes. That's what this video is all about. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Remember, keep practicing, keep doing your best, and don't stop just because you get frustrated at something and if you have to start over start over and yeah it's all the advice i can give you love you guys very much have a great night we'll talk to you very soon <gasps> outro Thank you.